Greetings and salutations. Growing up, gaming was a huge thing that, well, was prevalent as the consoles would change from the 80s to the 90s. Today, looking back at the scariest games from the 90s that would change how things, that would change how horror games were done, and in the future with some games becoming franchises. Let's look at number 10. <laughs> Overblood. It was released in 1997 in Japan on August the 2nd, 1996, and then in May 20th, 1997. It is considered the first survival horror game to make use of a fully dimensional virtual environment. The game will be part adventure game along with survival elements to it. What in the? I can see, like, say somehow, like, say some ways this would be kind of creepy, but, like, say, yeah, like, I mean, like, the ideas of it is pretty cool, honestly, like, looking at it. Number nine. <laughs> dino Crisis. When it comes to horror, nothing is scarier than dinosaurs. Well, that's what Capcom thought as well, and decided to take what made Resident Evil great but change it by instead having dinosaurs, which perhaps a lot of fans of Jurassic Park, which a lot of people, which a lot of fans of Jurassic Park probably wanted. Oh my god, I'm kidding. In the game, in which you play as Regina, who is sent to an island, searching, but discovering it's full of dinosaurs. It was released on July 1st, 1999, and it helped create a series on how the series, like a series, like say, um, like three games and a spinoff, but the series has kind of been dormant, with Capcom continuously remaking Resident Evil games, but now returning to remaster this. What is this? Seriously? <laughs> Alone in the dark. The game that would in a way have that would in a way influence Resident Evil about a detective and a young girl stuck in a mansion trying to get out while solving puzzles and vanishing, slaying or eluding various ghosts and monsters. <laughs> this game would be influenced by H.P. Lovecraft and other Dario Argento, and others like Dario Argento and George Romero, with the characters of Edward Carnaby or Emily Hardwick, who you can play and pick from. And honestly, this thing is, like, say, a, a game that I kind of wish I could go back to. This is a game that is also getting a remaster relatively soon, so we have that for looking forward to. <laughs> if you don't really want to blow some money to get it for a PlayStation. Number 7, Doom, the original badass game that we all perhaps had the chance to play as our first FPS, where you play as Doom Guy, a soldier where we shoot through multiple levels as hordes of demons. <laughs> Other creatures, along with some great weapons, whether it was a chainsaw, 
shotgun, or the BFG. Heck, just the intensity of running around, attacking enemies, well, almost to the point of just that adrenaline inducing, like, am I gonna make it before I just get my final life is out? <laughs> We want to play it right now. Number six. Resident Evil. We return to the world of Raccoon City with all the terror of a zombie outbreak, but this time out into the city. Two new characters, Rookie Cop, Leon S. Kennedy, and college student, Claire Renfield, who must escape Raccoon City after its citizens are transformed into zombies by a biological weapon, two months after the events of the original Resident Evil. This time, you aren't only just shooting, or trying to survive against the zombies. No, 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 no. But this time, you would go up against enemies like Tyrant. <laughs> Giant spiders and other mutant forms of Liam Birkin. Fire! Fire! You son of a... The game would get a remaster in 2019, so new fans would get the chance to experience it for the very first time. Number 5 <laughs> Doom 2. Doom Guy was back with even more action, more levels after taking on the Spider Demon. Then, the game would have more levels with more chances to kick Demon ass with game getting ported to multiple consoles over the years. The original game, which you were able to get initially, only available through shareware and mail order, Doom 2 was sold in stores. When you want to play the hottest, fastest, most advanced fighting game ever, forget everything else and play Doom 2 on your PC. No other game gives you the incredible realism, the 360 degree smooth scrolling and explosive action like Doom 2. It's easy to start playing, but it won't let you stop. Doom 2, it will consume you. So parents were either playing it themselves, or little Timmy was playing it. <laughs> Number 4. Resident Evil 3. We returned to Raccoon City for a third time in Resident Evil 3 with more monsters, with a new monster, and a new main character. The player must control former elite agent Jill Valentine as she escapes from Raccoon City, which has been infected by a virus. A new enemy was introduced being Nemesis. Uh, Jill! Uh, Brad! We've got a. A creature that periodically pursues the player throughout the game, and that was inspired by the T-1000 Terminator from the 1990 film Terminator 2 Judgment Day. The game could be quite thrilling, whether you were going around and then boom. Three, two, one, fire. Clock Tower, Clock Tower, also known as Clock Tower 2 in Japan for PlayStation 1. Here's a game that will be quite expensive on eBay. 
with it being the PlayStation 1 horror game Clock Tower. Released in 1996, the game is a point-and-click survival game, like the first game in the series on SNES. <laughs> Most games, this one would have leaped into the third dimension, where we learn about the origins of the Scissor Man in Norway. So while you're trying to figure out clues, you better watch your back before the Scissor Man gets you. Number two, Resident Evil. Well, you knew it was going to show up eventually. Released in 1996. This is the game that started a subgenre when it comes to gaming in the nights nice, of trying to do what this game did. This game was about it. it listening around Chris Renfield and Jill Valentine, members of the elite task force Stars, who must escape a mansion infested with zombies and other monsters. Yes, the game has its flaws. When going back to play today, as always, the annoying tank controls. And I'll be honest, the first time I played it, I won't lie and say I wasn't on edge. <laughs> Rather trying to fight the undead or run away when we're out of ammo. Heck, I feel like the animation for the game still holds up, even today. But that's just how I feel. But yes, the voice acting can be a little dodgy. No. <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Stop it. Jill! Sorry for making you wait. Chris! I knew I could trust you. Let's go! So now let's look at our number top t number one game. The scariest game for, like, you know, the 90s. Well... Lisa, what's the matter with you? I get it now. Why I'm still alive even though everyone else is dead. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. I'm the same as them. I just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. Silent Hill. Well, is either going to be at number one or number two? Both Resident Evil and Silent Hill games were games full of atmosphere. <laughs> Getting to our PlayStation in nineteen ninety nine. Released for the first here in the States and then everywhere else months later. The game was geared around every man, Henry Mason, as he searched for his missing adopted daughter, Sharon, in the eponymous fictional American town of Silent Hill. What is this? What's going on here? Go through that he will like you know interact with things such as a cult conducting a ritual to revive a deity it worships. He discovers her as long as discovering his daughter's true origins. The game would have several different endings based on actions you took. Sorry. Um let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short black hair. <laughs> With a variety of enemies that you would have to face, but the game being more psychological instead of just like, you know, you going around trying to fight the monster or shoot at it. Because, you know, you gotta think in a way like, because, you know, Silent Hill is a town of like psychological demons, not just like 
Well, I'm gonna shoot at this thing that's just writhing around on the floor. No. It can be really messy. But what is your favorite game from the 90s that kind of scared you? I'll see you next time.